Hey guys, this is part two of my sweater sorting video. I went thrift shopping last week and I got a few hundred sweaters. Now I have to pull the tags off all of them. So I dumped them in my living room and I sort them according to what fiber they are. And there's a lot of cool stuff. Some of it's kind of ugly, but I find that if you put a bunch of ugly stuff together, suddenly it looks cool. So that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. I'm actually pretty excited to sew with them. Oh wait, this isn't a sweater. This was a skirt I got for myself. I don't know. I was feeling the Catholic schoolgirl librarian vibe. I don't think I'll ever wear it. I have a giveaway pile. When people come visit me, I'm like, here, take my things. I'll try it on. Oh, want to see what else I got? Um... <laughs> I got this awesome sheep fur jacket. I liked it because it's all, um, it's really heavy and really, it feels like it's handmade. It looks pretty dumb on me, but I don't know. It's still like, it'll keep me warm on the way to the roller rink or something. It doesn't look that good, but it's really fuzzy. I'm gonna just wear it for a minute because it's actually really cold outside. We have a polar vortex, um, and it's snowing, and the plow trucks keep going by, and it's actually a great time to just be inside playing with sweaters. I love my life. It's nice to live in a, a little cozy cottage and just get to make stupid things all day long and listen to music. Um, Want to see more of my sweaters? Oh, here, I put some of the cool ones aside. Like there's a, the checkers. It reminds me of like MC Escher. This one's really awesome. Harlequin Sparkle. Ooh, I got a couple of those. Some of these are doubles. I have really cool sweaters and I got doubles. This one I find all the time. I don't know who thought that this was a good idea, but they were correct. This is an awesome idea. It's sparkles and stripes together. And it's not just gold and black. You can also find it in black and white. Somewhere under here, I know I saw a fuchsia in black one. Yes, this is awesome. Um, that's the noise I make when I throw sweaters. Um, what else? Oh. I can't remember if I showed you this one last time. I just saw it. It's really cute. It has rainbow buttons. Rainbow buttons. So, oh, you want to hear something else weird that happened? Oh, I forgot to bring the thing in. So, hold on. I'm going to tell you a story. When, and I'm not a very, like, woo-woo person, so I'm not sure. This story could be totally meaningless. But, like, about two weeks ago, I had this dream that the tree outside my window told me what its name was. And it was just sweet. I didn't think that much of it. It's just, like, cute when you have a dream about, um, about a tree and the tree talks to you. And, um, and it told me its name, and it was a really cool name. And then I told my boyfriend, and he was like, that's a really weird name. And then uh, I was thinking about it when I was sorting the sweaters last time. I was like, oh, what was the tree's name? And I could not remember the tree's name. And I was sitting here, like, racking my brain. What is the tree's name? And, like, kind of who cares? It was just a stupid dream, I, whatever. But I was like, what was that tree's name? And then I found this piece of paper mixed in with the sweaters. Let me grab it because I forgot it. I left it in the kitchen. Hold on a second. I'm still here. So, I found this, like, little piece of paper mixed into all the sweaters, and the paper has, like, a hair. It feels like a human hair on it, and, um, and it's, like, this old, crunchy piece of paper, and I opened it up, and it's, like, impossible to read. It's, like, old, like, it's, it's, uh, Roman letters, but I cannot decipher. It's, like, European old script. I can't read it. And I'm looking at it, I'm trying to understand, trying to understand, 
and I was just thinking like what is the tree's name and then like this word jumps off the page to me and it says Philippa Philippa that's what the tree's name was and I was wondering and then I found a piece of paper with the tree's name on it and the weird piece of human hair I don't know what that means and I would have probably gotten over it but then you know what happened I had my like Facebook open and you know how it beeps and it gives you a little notification anytime anyone does anything like that you don't care about and right when that happened it like beeped a notification and it said Philippa likes your video that's really weird right so I can't tell if this is just a stupid coincidence or if there's some like ghost lingering in the woods trying to like banging on the glass of the other dimension like help me so um i don't know who philippa is i actually googled it i'm like what the hell is philippa and it said um philippa means lover of horses i was like maybe i should get a mini pony someday someday i will get a mini pony I don't really need any more hobbies right now, but um, I mean, I've always wanted a horse. I was a little girl once, but we all wanted horses. Anyway, does stuff like that ever happen to you? And do you think it's like meaningful or it's just silly? Like, I'm not sure what I think. A little bit of both. I don't get scared or freaked out by it. I don't put too much meaning towards it, but um, I just think it's neat to, I'm not even showing you the sweaters. I think it's neat to recognize those connections and take a, a moment of wonder to appreciate those funny coincidences. I have a lot of funny coincidences in my life. Oh, get some more sparkles. That's enough of this jacket. I don't know. It would be it would be really uncomfortable to hug people in it. I'm not sure if I should keep it or not. I just like it because it feels really old. Like it feels like it's from the 70s and it's got that. Like, did you just hear that zipper? It's like a heavy zipper. Just like I like things that are better made. Clunk. <laughs> whole bunch of scarves here. I really lucked out on the scarves on this trip. Bunch of 80s patterns. Richard. Little tag. Ooh. Look what else I got. Are you ready for this? It's a giant spoon. I know there's there's gotta be a fork under here somewhere. I just love it's like a 1970s tiki kitsch. Um, you probably had one in your kitchen growing up. We didn't. My parents were not this cool. But I bought a house across the street that's from 1974. And I had this vision of decorating it all with like thrift store 70s stuff like that because it's they're just giving it away. It's not cool now, but probably in 10 years it'll be like the new mid century modern. People will realize how genius 1974 harvest gold design was and um then everyone will be coveting the tiki spoons it's another scarf um somewhere there's a fork i don't know where the fork is oh i wish i knew i had this scarf i would have used this in the coat i made yesterday it's the perfect perfect colors. So I have a collection of coats coming up. Um, they've been really fun to make. I, I, it's, I'm just doing like one a day. So I'm really taking my time with them. And I'm diving into my pile, pile of trim um, that I got at the estate sale. There's another YouTube video about, oh my god, about that, my trim score. Um, a couple years ago now, it was like the most unbelievable thing of my whole entire life that I went to a estate sale of somebody who owned a trim shop um, in the 70s in the garment district in New York City. And, and uh, there was just, oh, I'm going to keep that one. That's a nice one. 
um, the whole house was filled with crazy embroidered trim. You should just look at my other YouTube video just to see what I'm talking about. It was insane. And so I ended up with a lifetime supply of crazy, beautiful embroidered trim. And um, now I get to put it on my sweater coats. The only thing with it though is that, um, well, two things. One is that like the trim's really cool, but it's got weird color combinations. That's not as easy as you'd think to work it into other creations. Cause like somebody else already made the decisions about what colors to, to use. And like, they're not always subtle. Like a lot of it's really bright and colorful, which is great, but it's like this, this isn't the trim, but it's like these colors. It'll be all like rainbow. And don't get me wrong. I love a good rainbow, but you know, if all you have is like maroon sweaters, sometimes I, I kind of wish I had it had more um, earthy colors because that's generally the material I get to work with. It's kind of earthy. Oh, this is neat. Handmade, handmade blanket. You can't really tell, but it's kind of um, got that opalescent, iridescent rainbow. It's going to be hard to work with. Anything that you can like poke your fingers through is kind of a bad, a bad thing to sew with because it can unravel. Oh, this one's neat too. It's really nubbly. I like using those for trim, uh, for like brims and cuffs. Oh my God, my, do you see how high this is? I would, <laughs> I would pick up the phone and show you the sweaters, except that, um, the phone is so precariously balanced it's gonna fall on the ground at any second and I don't feel like moving it to check this out oh my god you guys Philippa lover of horses horse sweater it's all oh wait here horses it's all coming together I don't this wow so not only is it like a horse applique with fur but it has a fuzzy mane and a beaded eyeball I mean that is that's some first class craftsmanship right there into the pile I did a radio show yesterday my friend Julie who lives across the street has a radio show in Kingston um, about it's called Nobody Like You, and it's kind of like, you know, all of us who, who were misfits growing up and, you know, took a while in life to find our stride that's sort of celebrating that, those humble beginnings. And so she and, and um, her sidekick, Jessica, interviewed me, and that was fun because I had to tell you, it's not the easiest thing to sit here and monologue. Like, it's helpful when somebody else is talking, too. Um, but, oh very slimming vertical stripes um, but it was fun it's the first time I've ever been in a radio studio with like headphones on and everything um, I, maybe I'd like to do more things like that she's saying the guy who that she's having as a guest next week is the founder or one of the founders of Etsy strangely enough coincidence whoa I love these these like, no, it's not Benetton, but it's Benetton-ish. Those are some good sweaters. Check this one out. This one's awesome. It's like pink bubblegum paramecium's. That's gonna be fun. Um, I'm getting down. Getting through my pile. So I actually, the other video I made was a few days ago and I was like, all right, I'll just keep going and do this for another however long. And then I procrastinated and then I started dreading it. <laughs> and then I just was like having to climb over. This is, this is like obstructing the flow of traffic in my house. <laughs> like you can't get from one room to another cause there's a four foot tall wall of sweaters in the way. But then that just like compounded my procrastination and then there was people here and it's kind of um feels weird to talk to a camera by yourself and like know that somebody in the other rooms listening to you that's kind of awkward 
So finally everyone left and I, now I'm here. And then of course I started making this video and then my dog started barking because he has like genius timing when it comes to like what could what's the like smallest amount of effort he could be could could make to be the most annoying <laughs> that's my dog he's like a specialist in tiny terrible gestures these are all cotton cotton men's stuff um they're not that interesting oh whoa i'm gonna show you a really cool one i just saw this <laughs> oh my god oh my god angora bat wing sequin shoulder pad purple this is everything a sweater should be hold on i'm, I'm going in <laughs> i'm going in Ugh. yes oh and it makes noise can you hear that oh sorry i didn't mean to like jiggle my boobs at you i can't help it my boobs are just a mind of their own oh nice i mean it is so flattering on my on ever, anyone really oh man this new thing is you can't really sew with it because he's getting in the way guess i should just keep it right that wing i mean it's, bat wings make everyone look good all right i'm gonna work I'm wearing this the rest of the day. Hold on. This hood, um, it's like a wimpy little hood, but it's actually the first hood I ever put on a sweater. Um, this is a really old sweater. I made it. I had been in um, Muslim countries for a few months, mostly in West Africa, like Mali and, and um, Morocco. And... Um, and I was used to having my head covered and I came back to the United States and I just felt like so, like, like I just wanted to have my head covered. And so I, I put a, a hood on my little, it's like the most like, ba -bum. it's like not a modest dress at all, but I like somehow felt like I wanted my head covered. That was a long time ago. That was, I actually made this dress on my 30th birthday. So that was 13 years ago. Um, and I'm still rocking it. But yeah, this is a archival historic hood. Look, I didn't even have any like, there's no point on it. There's no brim. This is like as simple as it comes. Sparkles. We're getting down, the, down to the wire. There's only a few more sweaters. Oh, did you hear that? I found the fork. Tiki fork. Got two of them for a dollar fifty. Someday we're gonna have an awesome 1974 Airbnb. All right. I kind of want to hurry and do this because I know somebody's gonna pull up in the driveway really soon. Just disrupt my flow. Ooh. I like, I love when they have, you see, like, nice big buttons. I'm starting, like, my piles are starting to get a little mixed together. Oh, dude, there's such good ones right here. I don't even know if I showed you these last time. Look, there's, like, yellow Tweety Bird totally disgusting acrylic fiber but it's awesome this one this is actually almost as cool as the sweater i'm wearing looks like a crystal like exoskeleton and it's fuzzy i mean it's totally artificial like i know if i ironed it it would just make a sizzling noise as it melted but Sometimes I'll compromise and use those. Oh, that's that little thing I tried on last time. That was cute. I'm keeping you. There's a nice zipper. Almost done. Wait, did I show you this one? I 
thought it was, oh, it was, I was wearing this one too. Maybe I'll wear 